welcome to Park Hoppers Live. I am Park Hopper Sid, and this is my wonderful special guest, Park Hopper Baloo. She is a dear friend of mine. I'm so glad she could join us tonight while Park Hopper John is still out of town. Uh, just so you know, our Park Hopper Mom update of the night is that she is doing phenomenally well. She is actually recovering beautifully. She's going through all of her therapies. For anyone who is watching and didn't know, Park Hopper John's mom had a quadruple bypass. And so he is with her out of state, making sure that she is good and taken care of. And I'm loving the commentary already. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It, uh, I'm hoping that you are watching this on Facebook if you're watching live with us, but you can also find us over on Twitter, Instagram, not the Snapchat. We have not gone that far yet. And I'm sure there's a few others. If Park Hopper John was here, he would let me know. But definitely come and uh, look us up everywhere. WDW Park Hoppers with an S dot com. And at all our different areas as such as Instagram, Twitter, etc., YouTube, all WDW Park Hoppers. So we are here tonight at the beautiful and fine dining establishment of STK here at Disney Springs. We are celebrating the Brews and Barbecue Disney Springs event. So, um, what? It was upside down. Let's try that again. No, actually it wasn't. Oh, I think it was. Brews and Barbecue. All right, you are cut off already. <laughs> Wait, if you can't read this, how are you going to read your no, notes? No, when you look on the screen, though, if you do this and it comes up right... No, it doesn't. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Welcome to the fun. It is a great Tuesday night, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bloopers all night long. I told her I was going to beep her, like, bleep her out, and yeah, she... <laughs> no, we're in trouble. All right, so... Saying that, Brews and Barbecue, going strong here at Disney Springs. There's about 20 different restaurants that are participating. They have fantastic craft beer options and some wonderful food to be paired with it. In fact, tonight we have the Copper Tail Free Dive IPA and this wonderful, can't really see it too well because of the light. So we are, she's trying to get the light. She knows what she's doing. She, she hasn't dropped anything yes. yet. <laughs> It's like the cake. I'll tell you that story later. So, this is the wonderful uh, sweet barbecued shrimp, and so we are looking forward to diving into this as we talk to you tonight. So, and the other thing we want to let you know, you do, if you do come visit Disney Springs, check out the Disney Springs monthly guide. So this is everything that they have going on for the month of July. Little things to add, and let's see, today is the 10th. There's nothing exciting going on, but at the end of this week is National French Friday. So we definitely need to check out the poutine booth for that one. Oh, I know, I'm just looking for anything else. Like. All right, look at, just snatch that away. All right, did you have anything you wanna add in our beginning and intro, you wanna say hi? I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> she is so mad at me right now that I, I asked her to come do this with me. So, but thank you, Amy. No, thank you. I'm I here. appreciate and it. As the bloopers it. come, you will gladly <laughs> regret it. So, the last little announcement we have is don't forget that the Disney Bucket List book that we have, which is 100 Ways to Explore the Magic Kingdom, is uh, we have a sale going for this summer. It is $10. If you will check out www.parkhoppers.com slash STK. We're celebrating being at STK this week. And there you will find the link for the $10 Disney Bucket List book, and that includes shipping. So definitely check it out and order your book today to just add more fun to the Magic Kingdom. So, all right, anything else, Amy? Well, I just got my food. I don't know if I can pick it up to show, but I would, I'm gonna try. This is, this is her cauliflower steak. I don't have any kind of flashlight to show you, baby girl. Yeah. Oh, we up, do up. have studio audience today, so we have. Oh, look at that, all cauliflower. It's, it's an entire For head. anybody that's a vegetarian. I'm not a vegetarian, but for anybody that is, it looks delicious. All right, and we will also be finishing up with Q&A. So definitely stick around. If you have any questions, post them in the notes or hang out to the end and ask us then. All right. So while you start on your food, I'm gonna start on the news. Are you good with that? Yes. All right. So it is 
Christmas in July. Merry Christmas. It's hot. It is so hot down here. And even though summer is in full swing down here at Walt Disney World, we do want to let you know that there have been some announcements this week about Christmas events coming here to Walt Disney World. One we want to talk about this week is the um, Candlelight Processional has announced their dates and some of the entertainment that will be coming. So if you are not familiar with the Candlelight Processional, Candlelight Processional happens at Epcot every year. It presents the traditional story of Christmas. It is a truly spectacular event. It's a 50-piece orchestra, a mass choir, and there is always a celebrity narrator. The processional is performed three times a night at 5 p.m., 6.45 p.m., and 8.15 during the holiday season at the America's Garden Theater. Um, also available on select evenings, there is the Candlelight Processional Dining Package. It includes a meal and a guaranteed seat for one of the Candlelight Processional performances. Availability is limited. This is actually Park Harbor John and I's favorite way to participate. So, the and the Candlelight Processional Dining Packages will go on sale tomorrow, July 11th. I don't even know how you decide that that's like what day you're gonna go this far in advance, but I guess some people do. So, and this also runs all the way from Thanksgiving um, Thanksgiving Day, November 22nd this year, so they're starting earlier and it runs all the way through New Year's. So this year, a couple of names that we did want to share with you. Returning favorites such as Whoopi Goldberg, Pat Sajak, Neil Patrick Harris, Cheetah Rivera, Gary Sinise, Blair Underwood, and of course, Edward Jones Almos. And always, the wonderful and talented Jody Benson, who voices Ariel in The Little Mermaid. So, there are lunch and dinner packages that are available at some of Epcot's favorite restaurants, like the, um, I can never say this right, Akershus Royal Banquet Hall, I always make John say that one, uh, the Beer Garden in Germany, the Chef de France at the French Pavilion, and the Coral Reef Restaurant in the Seas. There are many more restaurants that are available. You can, you know, China, Japan, Morocco. If there is a restaurant at Epcot, they are probably participating in the Candlelight Processional Dinner Packages. Just go to Norway. You don't need to be able to pronounce it. <laughs> no, no, no. Go to the Beer Garden. We're, we're, are we going to fight? You, fine. You go to Norway. We'll go to the Beer Garden, and I'll meet you at the American Garden Theater. Will that work? I guess. Oh, wow. We got sass tonight, y'all. All right. So there are breakfast, lunch, and dinner options available this year. Um, and that includes the Ale and Compass at the Yacht Club Resort, with breakfast and dinner options being offered also at the Trattoria Al Forno at the Boardwalk. So, the Candlelight Processional Dining Packages start at $38 for adults and $22 for kids ages 3 to 9 for breakfast. For lunch, it is $50 for adults and $17 for children. And for dinner, it's $55 for adults and $17 for children. So. Just encourage you go book a da uh, candlelight dining package. Starts on the website tomorrow, the Walt Disney World website, not ours. Please be aware that the narrators and entertainment are subject to change without notice. Epcot admission is required. It's not included in the package price, and for something that's fifty-five dollars, I wouldn't expect it to be. And also, they are available. The dining packages are available for dinner only. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. I actually want to know what your favorite part of it is. The of the candlelight processional? Exactly. I think it's actually the fact that the voices of Liberty, who normally perform over at the American Pavilion, are a part of this. And it's also the fact that a very good friend of ours, uh, Derek Johnson, who founded the Voices of Liberty, actually wrote this arrangement for the candlelight processional. And so it just oh, cool. it's near and dear to our heart for that. Right. So So I guess we'll be checking it out this year? Oh absolutely. Alright, so, I'm up! <laughs> Alright, so last week we did um, mention, well, slash they mentioned, the whole Ant-Man and Wasp um, feature at Disney Springs to basically celebrate the new release. So, with this um, special Ant-Man and Wasp event at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar here at G um, Disney Springs, there are a lot of items that they've included that are sound actually pretty good. So you have the Jumbo Pirates pretzels, mm -hmm. you have the Goliath sliders, you have the shrunken empanadas. Who doesn't like an empanada really? And you make it little and it's just so cute. It's yeah. even more fun. 
and good for Instagram pictures. Just some tips out there because a lot of people will like that. <laughs> then you also have the mini pork belly. What we, how do you say that again? <laughs> bow buns. Bow buns, whatever she said. So remember well, though. Now what is a bow bun? Um, it's just like fluffy, like it's like it's a like Korean a dumpling, sandwich, like material, right? It's, yeah, it's like it's like a almost like a little bread bun, but they just you can Google it if you ever have trouble. I did it earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, so but the last thing is there is this awesome wall that you can go and take a picture and you do the hashtag Wasp Wings. So. Check it out. It's right outside of the theater. I think we should go do that after we're done here. I think we should <laughs> as well. Maybe uh, jumping feature. No. Ooh, okay. Maybe. No. I don't know. I'll get her another drink. <laughs> All right. And so, yeah, I'm sort of looking forward to the ant-sized food. Yeah, I think so it's going to be good. We're, we're definitely going to have to check this out, Amy. All right. So, speaking of Disney Springs, they have actually bought some wonderful new offerings to tempt your taste buds this summer. And I'm gonna try to run through this quickly, but there is so much going on down here, you almost, almost don't need to go to a park. So, first of all, Terralina Craft in Italian is now open. This is a delightful dining experience with sweeping waterfront views and authentic Italian home cooking. It is considered a feast from the shores of Italy. And as you drift into a tranquil escape inspired by the design and lifestyle of Italy's famed Lake District, and enjoy flavorful fare curated by James Beard award-winning chef Tony Maturano and executive chef Justin Plank. So this will capture your senses and transport you to a breathtaking part of the world. You, there is a veranda bar outside that you can mingle around. There are uniquely furnished dining rooms to make yourself at home. There's a beautiful private dining room in the back that was just lovely. A good friend of mine and I went and checked this out last weekend for lunch and it was fantastic. The menu boasts genuine Italian cuisine cooked in Chef Tony's signature Italian olive oil and a thoughtful selection of um, artisanal hand-tossed pizzas, fresh vegetable dishes prepared in a gourmet wood-burning oven. Plus, any fans of the former Portobello Country Italian uh, Trattoria can still indulge in some of the go-to favorites like the antipasta platter and some of the select pastas have stayed on the menu. It was very nice that just because they wanted to make a change, they're still honoring what was there before. So, you have all this memorized, so when I want to go eat these things, you're going to... Not totally memorized, but I will definitely take you. All right. All right. Fair enough. So... Also, there are a wide variety of brunches that have now just popped up all around Disney Springs. With mimosas? Yes, with mimosas. And some of them have bellinis. So, You're talking. the main one we want to talk about today is the Rise and Shine Southern Brunch at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming Restaurant. This is a Sunday Southern style brunch. It is every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So, this is where you get to dust off your Sunday best and tempt your taste buds of all ages with a savory selection of feel-good dishes including fried chicken and house-made sugar donuts, shrimp and grits, short rib hash, and an open-faced biscuit topped with Chef Art's famous fried chicken, two over-easy eggs, pimento cheese, and pecan smoked ah. bacon. You just opened up my heart. Oh, I didn't even get as far as the sawmill gravy yet. Mm, girl. And girl, please. And of course, as you ask, you're asking about mimosas. Well, they have specialty cocktails. So they have a white peach sangria, mimosas with your fresh squeezed juices, and an over-the-top Bloody Mary with all the fixes. So the full menu is also available starting at 11 a.m., but brunch starts at 10. And some of the other brunch spots right here around Disney Springs, Raglan Road Irish Pub has a fantastic brunch. Marie and Enzo's has just started a buffet brunch. Wait, paddle paddlefish, paddlefish, paddle, paddlefish. Their Bloody Mary is on point. You get a uh, crab leg and a shrimp, uh, was it shrimp or bacon? Nope, it was bacon. Crab leg and bacon in your Bloody Mary. Just, sorry. You're excited about that. It was really good. I, I love going places with my little friend Park Hopper below here because she gets so excited about food that it makes me feel a little less, a little more normal. Well, it's a little I'm less a first weird. timer still. You are. You are. Well, you've been going to Disney for many years, but this is your first time this year being a pass holder. You live locally now, so we are so glad to have you down here in Orlando. All right. So there's also STK has started a brunch, and 
of, there's always the wonderful and classic House of Blues Gospel Brunch. So, and once you get through all that food on Sunday morning, then you can go over to Enzo's Hideaway for the Sunday Supper. So this is where you get to gather your loved ones around a communal table to enjoy a hearty spread of cured meats, cheeses, pasta, entrees, sweets, all shared family style. Park Hopper John and I actually did this with uh, his podcast buddy, Tony Casanova of the internet and a few other people and just had a wonderful dinner. And so, and they have actually started a BYOB option. Bring your own bottle. Wait, what? No corkage fees. So you bring up, your wine from wait home. Wait a minute. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on with the music. And I can't believe you can bring your own wine. I know, well, you know, you could go down to uh, George's Wine Bar. Wine Bar George. So. That's an idea. Now, the family style feast is $45 per person. It is $19 for children 9 and under. It is every Sunday from 4 to 10 p.m. <laughs> We do want to make reservations, and so, and I actually, I have the whole list here, but it, there's the Anapasta board, the rigatoni with Sunday sauce, um, free Wait, range just chicken, my favorite. meatballs, short ribs, sweet and spicy sausage, and then for desserts, there's ice cream and assorted sweets. So definitely check all of these out, the brunches, the dinner, all of the new options. All you have to do is call 407-WDW. D I N E, which dine, dine, or you can also for they take walk ups at most of the restaurants. So definitely head on down to Disney Springs, walk in and see what they have as far as availability. All right, so you want to take the next one? Yeah, because you know there's a lot of silver pass holders out there, right? So it's really, really important for Disney to cater to you because you are a part of their pass holders and very important to them. You have to say that because I'm sitting right here. I do. Just, how's that shrimp? Your shrimp is amazing. It's really, really actually delicious. So, just in time for here. summer, of course Disney now is offering an extra add-on to your silver pass for select um, venues, obviously, the parks. It's Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Animal Kingdom that you're able to go, which is normally blocked out because I hear about this all the time from Sid. She's like, I have I'm no like, idea what you're talking hey, about. Hey, we should go to Disney. And she's like, mm, my I'm, passes are blocked out. Blocked. Wait, let me check the date to see when I can go back. Sorry. start? No, sorry. Forget that, I said that. Park Hopper John, you're coming back, right? Yeah, Park Hopper John, we need you back. <laughs> All right, All right so with that said, um, regularly the blackout dates would be from July 9th through August 9th, but as of right now, um, you can buy this pass. And the only one you won't be able to go to is Disney Hollywood Studios, which we all know what's going on at Hollywood Studios. And really? Hollywood. Is there something going on at Hollywood Studios? Who really wants to wait in lines for Who that Who wants anyways? to do the Slinky Dog Dash? So, this um, will be available at the vacation planning and guest relation locations, including Disney Springs, ESPN, Worldwide of Sports, the, and the add-on ticket is available for sil silver and weekday select pass holders. Mm -hmm. The summer add-on passes will include all access, including weekends, for those weekday select pass holders and will, um, who purchase the add-on. The price of it is actually only $89, so it really is It is really nice. Bad. I mean, you're pretty much adding a park hop a for one month. month park hopper option for plus three tax. parks. Sorry, I didn't say plus tax, because you know... Governments out oh, there. there's always tax. always tax. So eighty nine dollars is actually not that bad. So there might be something I would, to look into. Absolutely, especially for somebody that gets nagged to be like, hey, can we go to a park? So I, I don't know. Check who it would, out. July 9th through nag. August 9th. Um, if you are just dying, or if you actually have family coming in town, maybe it's worth the eighty nine dollars to spend that time with them, right? That would be beautiful. All right, so before we move on, because I know you've got more stuff to talk about, we do want to ask if you would like to help us out over here at Park Hoppers, because we do this, um, we, you know, go to the parks on our own, we purchase our food on our own, this is not something that, you know, anyone supports us with, but we do, and we, you know, we do a little advertising, but we do want to ask if you would like to help us out without 
it costing you anything extra, would love for you to visit www.parkhoppers.com slash Amazon and that will actually take you, it is a link, it will take you straight over to Amazon, but it just lets them know that we sent you and we get a few pennies back from whatever you purchase. Every little bit adds up. It does not cost you anything. It does not add anything extra to what you're doing. And it's just a nice way for Amazon to know that you are supporting WDW Park Hoppers. It's really easy. I actually did it um, last month. I didn't tell her this because I don't know if she gets like... You don't I don't get emails know. or anything, no. We don't know. Okay, good. So I bought some dog products because <laughs> I have dogs. So um, under the WDW Park Hoppers. Dot Amazon. com slash Amazon. So it's actually really easy to do. Well, and there's also some different items. These are hand curated items at www.parkhoppers.com slash shop. These are just different items from various places that Park Hopper John and myself have looked at and decided these are things that we like, we think our friends would like, our listeners would like. You know, some things are Disney, most of them are not, and it's just some nice items. You know, we are actually getting closer to Christmas. I can't hold back anymore. All right, this music's got me going. You're going to dance, aren't you? Well, then, Amy, why don't you talk about the Beat to the Heat dance party? All right, so I have lost all control tonight. <laughs> she has. I told her she was going to regret it. Well, I'm here. All right, so at the Splash Pad at Disney Springs, they are actually offering now um, a Heat, Beat the Heat DJ dance party. Wow. So, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, beginning at 6 p.m. and lasting until 10 p.m., you should bring your kids out, let them enjoy the music and the dance, tire and them the out, pad. and the splash pad. Tire them out, and then when you get home, they're like, actually, they're passed out in the car, and then you have to pick them up and bring them to bed. And you're like, oh, this was so easy. So, remember, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until August 12th, Splash Pad, there is a DJ for everybody at Disney Springs. And this is the Splash Pad over by Once Upon a Toy, right? Yep. Oh. And I, oh, I might be there. I didn't want to tell you that part because I didn't want to be oh. there enjoying and then you like oh, we splash might go on play. my pad. We might go play in that fountain tonight. It actually is a great little place, even during the day. It's got the fountains going. It's got the um, sort of little bouncy floor and but stuff. But John is actually cheering me on. Get it. Do not encourage her. Why? All right. So this is not Disney World, but a little bit of Disney news. You can now embark on exciting expeditions in Astoria, Oregon with Disney Cruise Line. So, during the September 10th cruise aboard the Disney Wonder from Vancouver, Canada, they have added a stop that will give you a chance to experience the enchanting history and rich culture of Astoria, Oregon. So, this is nestled in the bank of the Columbia River. You have the option to go on an excursion to Mount St. Helens National Monument. Um, there is, and so this is the volcano that went off in 1980. There is a scenic ride to and from the ship along the Columbia River. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you also get to explore part of the area where Lewis and Clark traveled. So, you know, so, so this is very historic. There are forts there that you can walk through. They have local landmarks. Lots of movies were filmed there. They have glass bowing expeditions. So it's actually just really a beautiful area. Plus, it's a great chance to explore some history if you're interested. So again, this is only the September 10th cruise aboard the Disney Wonder. Great option so to add. So you already booked it. You're really lucky. You are. You're going to be excited. So, um, and they're also going to head up to the Lewis and Clark National Historical Park for a tour of Fort Plasta which um, this is a replica of the Explorer's Winter Logic, so you can get a first-hand account of the famed tale from historical reenactors. And then they have the River Maritime uh, Museum, and just there's glass blowers. There's all kinds of amazing things to explore, and you even get some free time to walk around the city and look at it all on your own. So I, I think that's fantastic. No, I do think that's so. Cruises are like my thing. 
Just saying. You're not coming with us in, in, at the end of the year when we go on our annual. You ain't invited on mine either. All right, fine. Why don't you tell us, bring us back home to Disney World. OMG. All right, so Disney After Hours events returns. Tomorrow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, is that right? Is that right? Park cover John just informed us that Short Circuit filmed in Astoria, Oregon. Um, baby, we're going on a cruise. Kindergarten Cop, he's listing all the movies. Wait, actually, I should ask Sean. Hey, John, can I come on a cruise? He'll answer in a minute. Okay, perfect. Small time delay. All right, so the Magic Kingdom will host Disney After Hours hard ticket events on select nights, July through September. Event guests will begin entering the park at 7 p.m. and remain in the park for three hours past the scheduled closing time. That's you, kind of you got very excited when you read this the first time. Well, I got a little slower at this point because I want to make sure you have all the information because it's really important. If you're interested in this, you want to make sure you have all of it. Absolutely. So, events will take place on the following dates. Get your calendars out. Start writing them down if you're actually interested. All right, so, we're ready. July 14th, 21st. Oh, that's this weekend. Oh, yeah. Well, you said tomorrow. I mean, it's tomorrow. It starts technically. No, but July 14th. I said, don't bust my parade. The 21st, the 28th of July. And then we go into August, the 24th, the 11th, and the 30th. Or maybe just the 4th. Maybe just the 4th. I believe her. All right, and then August, or September 20th, since you messed up my whole line. Oh my gosh, such gosh. a drama queen, such a drama queen. I can't, so, deal, I can't deal with you. So right. tomorrow, July 11th, the tickets go on sale for the Candlelight Processional. This weekend, July 14th, starts the first Disney After Hours event. There's too much exciting stuff. I can't There's get it so all, much I going on like, here at Walt Disney World. I can't get it all, like, I can't, I can't, I can't. All right, so Anyways, what are they offering? So, um, available to limit to number of guests. So basically the lines are going to obviously be shorter because not as many people are going to be able to spend three hours after hours in the park. Right. So, um, with this they are offering to maximize your time in the park with quicker access to over 25 popular attractions and char Ooh, character greetings. Character <laughs> greetings. So if you have um, children and you or if they're at that age that they can stay up a little bit later, this might be worth it because I knew I had an autograph book growing up. So. Might be worth it, but wait till you get to the last line. Uh, so, ice cream, popcorn, ooh, bottled beverages, that's important. Stay hydrated. And <laughs> um, so included it with the event, oh, all of it is included with the event. Yes, ad ice cream, adventure. popcorn, soda, water. Is that what water. you were trying to get me to say? Well, no, you're talking about it being worth it. And I'm looking at the cost of $119 plus tax yeah, that's for three extra hours in the park. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. So if you're here and you want to, you know, you want to go and you want to, to get every drop out of the parks, it might be worth it to you. Should I say the dates again? Did I mess that up? No. Okay. Plus, we're going to post it in the show notes and we're going to put this article up on www.parkhoppers.com. And Perfect. make sure that everybody has that. Perfect. All right. Wait, can I say what, what we're, where you're doing it next week? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, um, if you always tune in, which you should, because I do, or I'm actually in the studio audience, I might you, like... You normally are. You were the person that was sitting across from me yelling random things last week. So, if anybody was wondering, is <laughs> people asked? Right, right. Here. Right there. Thanks for not telling people prior to tonight. All right, oh, so I told. next week, though, is House of Blues. So next Tuesday, tune in, House of Blues. It's going to be awesome. House, I've been there before, and they have pretty good like live music. I don't know when they do, but Sid will probably <laughs> tell me, and it's going to be awesome. Well, and we're going to try to find a quiet corner, just like we did tonight. So, And at that point, big shout-out to Robert to Rob, to Colleen. Thank you guys so much. They've taken such good care of us. They found us a beautiful little booth in the back so that we're not really interfering with anybody else's dinner. We've got some wonderful mood lighting. We do have our studio audience. So say hello, studio audience. 
All right. We yeah, got some the whistles. whistles. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Bob and Mary. So, so I would like um, to thank everyone. I'm gonna uh, wait. Am I supposed to be reading the red? Oh, my screen. Oh uh, well. Oh, John your... is the greatest ever and so so sexy. I'm so glad she said that and not me. <laughs> And so, yeah, there we go. So, wait, where did that come from? I, I'm, I'm, refresh. And okay, then, John. all the changes appear. There you go. We've got different devices going right. here with our notes. So, check out WD, make sure I say this right, WDW Park Hoppers with an S dot com. Very good. Way to go. All right, so thank you so much for listening. We're so glad you were here with us tonight, or if you're watching this later. Don't forget to visit www.parkhoppers.com slash newsletter and sign up for our free newsletter that we'll send to you. We do not sell your email. We're not going to post it on the bathroom wall. We are just going to make sure that we get this all set up so that you have the best Disney information possible. Okay, we're done. Except for questions for Sid and John. Since John clearly is like messaging us you, and like... So Amy's pointing at the, the questions and the notes that are popping up there. It's actually pretty funny. So we just want, we want to say thank you all for joining us. And thank you for visiting us over at www.parkhoppers.com. Four parks, one world, and everything in between. Way to go!